A brief overview of the subject matter of Nahu will be subdivided into uh, five subcomponents. We will start off by talking about the three main elements of the study of Nahu. Now these are important because no matter how advanced you get in your study of Nahu, your study of Nahu or the discussions in grammar, Arabic grammar, will not go beyond these three main elements. Then we'll move on to uh, look at the a brief mind map uh, of the subject matter of Nahu, i.e. Nahu at a glance, and uh, this will be the foundation of our further subtopics. Uh, so then from that mind, ma mind map, we'll proceed, proceed to number C, which is uh, recognizing asma, fa'al, and huruf. So the next three components are based upon somewhat uh, the three main elements that we'll highlight in the first section of this uh, this video, inshallah. Right, so you will begin by rec learning how to recognize asma, fa'al, and huruf in Arabic sentences and how to differentiate, differentiate between the, uh, the three of them. Then we'll uh, do a deep dive, or relatively deep dive, uh, into each of these three types of Arabic words in section D. So we'll learn more about asma, uh, af'al and huruf, and the main discussions that surround these words. So how you have particular discussions that surround asma, i.e. nouns, you have particular discussions that surround af'al, i.e. verbs, and you have particular discussions that surround huruf i.e. The, the letters or the words that join na uh, nouns and verbs in a sentence. Right, and then we will conclude this section by talking briefly about the types of Arabic sentences and uh, we'll provide some brief mind maps in this subsection too.